Okay, well, it is time for modification to the Model 3. So, um, been a lot of planning going into this with what all's happening to that car. There's actually a lot going into it. But today we have the first thing that I'm going to be doing. Um, some things I will be doing, some things I will not be doing because I just don't know how, but I will be able to film a lot of it for you still. So that's great. But today we have this, ooh, sorry, it's really dark in here. Won't lighten up, there we go. We have this giant box. It's literally taller than I am. Look at this. Wow, okay, so in this box is the front lip from Unplugged Performance. It just goes right there on the front, kind of right there. So not that long ago, Unplugged Performance actually released a white paper regarding the efficiency of some of the parts that they're making. I'll link it down below, definitely check it out. It's actually a really good read, and I actually learned quite a bit too, which is awesome. They actually use computational fluid dynamics, or CFD, and that was actually leveraged to validate an add-on front lip, which is what we're doing today, and the addition of a rear spoiler, which eventually will make its way onto the Model 3, let's be honest. They actually found a 21% reduction in total vehicle drag, resulting from the install of three of their parts, one being the front spoiler, the other one being dual rate springs, and another one being their rear spoiler. Well, that's the front lip in that box. Another box, sorry, I thought it was behind me, it's not. We have another box, actually we are doing their unplugged performance springs, and eventually we will be getting that wing as soon as that is available. So this reduction in drag will actually decrease your watt hours per mile or per kilometer for those of you in Europe and increase your max range, which is always great considering electric cars always kind of have that stigma that range is not enough. Now, it's not gonna give you 600 miles, but it can actually give you quite a bit. So we will test some of that as soon as we can get everything on the car. But yeah, definitely check out the link below for their white paper and other information because they actually list out what each part does in terms of decrease in drag, reduction in CD, and improvement in downforce, all of which will help you get the most mileage out of your Tesla. And I guess this is a good spot to actually say, I am racing that Model 3 at the end of the month. I'll be out in California for the Tesla Corsa event. Super excited to actually do this. Bunch of Teslas will be out there. I'll link that down below too. If you are gonna be there, definitely stop by, say hi. There'll be a lot of Tesla talk, obviously, because it'll all be Teslas. But let's go ahead and get this pulled in the garage, get this installed, see how this she looks. Okay, decided to pull it on this side of the garage because that side's really kind of muddy from some of the bad weather we've been having. So this side's actually pretty clean because you will have some like little pop rivets to remove off the bottom. So keep that in mind if you're gonna be on the ground. Probably don't do it in a muddy spot. But let's check out what's in the box first. Okay, so yeah, obviously it's a big box. There are actually some replacement rivets because uh, we will have to remove some of those from under the front bumper. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six of them, as well as some instructions. Okay, so it is actually finished in this kind of like gloss black. I'll put what it is on the screen. Sorry, I don't quite remember. Anyway, and you can see it's kind of got some lips on it and everything. Underneath, that's where the clips will be put. And then on either side, it does have some 3M tape just to make sure it sticks on there well. So I actually have chosen not to paint this. I think the black will actually add a little something to the front end, kind of spruce it up a little bit. You can paint it body color though. You can wrap it body color if you have a car wrap, whatever you want. I have just decided to keep it black. I think it'll look really sleek. Here's before and here's what it will look like once it's on, again, this is just a dry fit. So yeah, it's not totally being held in on the ends because we haven't done the clips or anything yet, but that looks so good. Check it out. I'm a huge fan. Here's what it'll look like kind of from the side. This isn't pushed in all the way, so just keep that in mind. So you can see it does stick out just a fraction more, but not a ton. There's six of these little clips. There's one, two, three, four, five, and six. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pop those out real quick and then we can 
put this on, pop the new clips in, that'll really hold it in place so that we can then work on just the 3M tape on either side. And that's it for install, super easy. Okay, so I found the easiest way to remove these is just with a little screwdriver because it actually will pop right in. And then I have one of these little guys and that will just apply even pressure. Pull that right out. Sometimes the centers come out without the rest of it, but then this just pops right out too. So next up what we're gonna do is on these two pieces of tape, we're gonna go ahead and put like a little one inch tail and bend it outward so that when we put this on, we will originally put it on with these, but then we have those sticking out so we can apply some light pressure while peeling the rest of the tape so that it can really get a good bond on the left and the right side. Now this part is easier with two people. So I'm gonna go grab David so he can kind of help hold everything. 20 minutes later. Okay, David's here now. He's waving. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is we got our little fins on the left and the right side. But first we're gonna put it on here without putting any pressure on the tape. It just sits on there. Yeah. And then I'm going to replace the clips. We're gonna do those before we put the left and the right side on. So I'm gonna get down here. That's why earlier I was talking about dirty garage on that side. Yeah. It's cold too. It's very cold. Battery died. Heard it beep. But anyway, we got all the clips in. She's really on there. So now we're gonna work on David's side. He's examining my craftsmanship. Yeah, just filling the, the clips in there. Yeah, pretty, pretty. <laughs> what David's gonna do is he's gonna push here and make sure this lines up with this. And then I will make sure, cause you want this right here to line up with this wheel arch. So I will do this and then pull the tape tabs that we did previously. So go ahead and push that. And it lines up yes. almost perfectly. So now I'm just gonna pull this, hopefully you guys can see it, while applying some pressure. And this is very, very high bond tape. Okay, now push. So per the instructions, you're really gonna wanna apply pressure and push for a good, maybe five, 10, 15 minutes, cause you really want this to adhere really well. This is what's gonna really do a lot in holding it and making sure it looks good. Look, oh look, they uh, have like their unplugged like logo on here. I saw that. That's cool. Oh, my wheel well is super dirty. Sorry, you guys can't really see this part, so I'm just gonna speed this up and then we'll jump to the other side in just a second. Okay, so that very high bond tape actually did its wonders. And it looks great. Looks so good. And it's definitely not coming off. So, on to the other side. Pull this. And then, another 10 minutes on this side. Okay, thank you for the help, David. What do you think? It's, it looks nice, like, I don't know what it reminds me of, like tuxedo or stormtrooper or something Ooh, like that. tuxedo, I yeah. like that. But it goes with Actually, the black and white inside like the, the sides where the little vent is now like all blend in. I'm a huge fan of the black. That looks really dope. Cool, let's get this out in the sun and check it out. There you go. Looks super, super good. Definitely adds an aggressive look that I am a huge fan of. So there's how much further it sticks out. Really not that much, especially for what it offers considering it's a 6.6% .6 decrease in drag, a 0.015 reduction in CD, and a 35.4 improvement in front downforce. I'm just a huge fan of having the black, especially on the white, because then like that little vent right there that goes next to the wheel, just like appears out of nowhere. I'm a huge fan. The puppies are huge fans too. There they are. The puppies. Hi Layden. Hi. Oh. I just noticed this too. It actually has this like little fin right here. It's kind of unique, but it actually is a fin that comes all the way up and travels the whole length of the front. 
Let me know what you guys think about this down below. I'm a big fan and it'll be really interesting to see how it does, especially being that I'm going to Corsa. Now I haven't done any previous laps at Button Willow, which is where the event will take place, but it'll still be great. It's definitely not gonna hurt anything. It's super easy install. Um, I would say you could probably do it, but as always, if you are questionable on it, definitely take it to a professional they'd be able to do it in no time. But yeah, that's basically it for this one. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Again, this is just the first of many, many mods to come. Super excited to get it all started. As always though, huge thanks to our channel sponsor, Abstract Ocean, for helping with the channel. If you guys are looking to accessorize your Model SX or Model 3, such as this one, definitely check out their website using code Tesla Inventory at checkout. We'll get you 15% off your first order. As always though, thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Go ahead and click here to subscribe here for some other ones. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.